What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. And today we're outside of the park of the Three Chimneys, checking out some of the graffiti in Barcelona. You can see some of it just right behind me, but just right around the corner, we're gonna visit that park, which is a skate park turned graffiti park as well. So we can see all sorts of different art that's very famous here in Barcelona. So if you've been over to any of these European cities, you know that graffiti tends to be one of those things that you see all over the place. I get a lot of questions about what's up with all of the graffiti. And Barcelona in recent years has actually spent about four million a year in cleaning up graffiti all over the place. So a lot of different projects have been born in Barcelona, not just that graffiti, but really that street art to kind of promote that around. And one of those is the free walls that you can go onto an application and you can basically either become an artist or you can become a contributor or a photographer. And you can pick which places you wanna to go to and you can either take pictures of or you can add to all the art. And so there's different spots in Barcelona, like the Park of the Three Chimneys that you can see all around right here, which is just filled with different artwork. The thing is that it changes day to day, which is one of the best things about it. You could come by tomorrow and this will be completely changed as well. And those wall, those, that wall spot, those free walls, what they allow you to do is they allow you to reserve the wall and you have it to paint on that day. And so you'll see a lot of artists from all over the world or some local artists that come into Barcelona and they're painting on these different walls. So today we're gonna walk around and see some of the artwork that's all throughout the Park of the Three Chimneys. And it can be anything, right? Anybody has the right to join these, these applications and so you get all sorts of different things that you can see. I was here a couple weeks ago and none of this was even here. You can see Mickey Mouse right there. And even that kind of monster, a little creature right in there. A lot of it, you get the different names and things. But sometimes you can find some really, really cool art. And like I said, some of the more famous people that come through are gonna be around as well. Looks like we got another Disney piece right over here. We got Goofy spray painting with Mickey. And you can see all throughout the entirety of the park, you've got that graffiti throughout. The three probably most prominent or famous spots are gonna be these walls that run across the parallel, just on the other side, you can see that road in the back. And these are probably, I don't know, maybe like the showcases for everybody. And you can see that they just change all the time. One of my favorite details that you can see over here, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but you can see that indent right in there. So you get a real, idea of how many layers of paint are on these walls you can see that people just keep adding and adding and adding you can add a little bit more that's not even paint right in here but you just paint over and over and you really start to see kind of the thickness of that paint but like i said it's a really cool initiative that they have where there's a lot of artists around and instead of paying those fines and there can be some pretty hefty fines being caught painting on the walls Normally, you avoid all of that with these open walls that we have. And like I said, some of the more famous street artists here in Barcelona, you can even see Con Air right there, which what he's famous for is this kind of like popsicle stick character that he has. And you can see the name right down there, Con Air, one of those famous street artists. Locals from Barcelona all around the cube. Looks like we got a little pig, bumblebee. Around, and this is not the only spot, right? There's, this is probably the more famous, or the most famous of them, but you've got not only the Park of the Three Chimneys, but over in the Poplano area on the other side, you've got some other areas where they have these walls. And you can see the idea of the entire park covered with it. But like I said, it's all over Barcelona uh, and it started to pop up in different cities as well. I know a couple, about a month or two ago, Madrid started to have some of its first free walls. The application now is wall spot. 
but they've had theirs heading over there and it really just adds some more color over here some more artwork to the city we got the looks like the grim reaper right in here and like i said with the street right back there driving by this is kind of like the showcase almost where you get a lot of people over here and you can hear the music in the back people come and hang out this one's newer was not here a couple weeks even a month ago last time i was over here uh was at the beginning of the the pablo hasel cases which i explained about in another one of the videos kind of the riots that have been going on on the passage de gracia the destruction for the freedom of speech and the case of pablo hasel rapper who had said things against the spanish monarchy um and the spanish government who was put in jail there was a lot of graffiti about his political situation you had some graffiti of the king graffiti of pablo hasel and see right here and you can always if you like something and i always like this one more than anything from the colors right but you can see at tim marsh right there so you can always follow these guys on twitter on instagram anything where they're putting up their different their different artwork right there not sure who that is it looks a little bit like trevor noah right there we'll have to look that up a little bit and you've got kind of looks like a bart simpson right there it's got an estrella can the beer over here and then just some other more of those typical kind of letters and things Parte de las tres chimeneas right there you can see the name of the entirety of the park and we'll step out over here but street art has become really big over here in barcelona uh, we even have the banksy uh, exhibit that's going on over in the trafalgar space in uh, on the other side of the city over by the arc so there's a lot of street art it's become very popular and you can see with spaces like this it really opens up for not only the natives uh, and local artists but also for those international artists that might come over and leave their mark on the city like i said before the crazy part is that it could change day to day. So it's always something nice to see coming over here. You can see all sorts of different artists, find out some new ones as well. And we'll have to explore some of the other areas. There's some just over, very close to where we are right now, that give us even some more artists. And on the other side of the city in the Poplano, on a lot of those factories as well. But if you liked the video, remember to give it that thumbs up, comment on any of the art that you thought was your favorite. And if you're looking for other videos about Barcelona, remember you can always check out my channel, subscribe if you like what you see, come back for more about Barcelona while we can't travel right now, getting you ready for your next trip, keeping you connected after you leave. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.